Hey, my name is Bree. I did a video a while ago about how to put together your clarinet. And this is actually part two of that. This is fingering on your clarinet. So you see how I have it facing towards you guys? To where you can see the back? So, this is a little tricky for me. So, for fingering with the clarinet, you don't want to like hold it like this. Because then that will really mess up your play. What you want to do is with this hand, if I were to face this way, what I have to do on this side. So use this arm right here, your left or right or whatever you call it. And take this arm actually. I'm using the replica of like your guys' hand. So take this hand, you put down at the bottom. Right? Yeah. So this hand, which would be on this side. Wait, what? No. Wait. <laughs> Sorry, this is my first time explaining this. So, you want your hands not to go over these bars. Or on the sides is what I'm trying to get to, okay? Just bear with me, please. I'm still new to this. I still have to look at where my fingers go. So, the hand that is away from these bars, you put your thumb on this middle part. It doesn't matter where you put it. It could be like right here or here or on your thumb knuckle. Like in, in one of these spots. I'd say like about there. And it is heavy. So after a little bit, it will get sore and it will hurt. Recommend like just practicing holding it. So once you have your thumb in place, so now with your hands, with your thumb on this hand, it goes on this back key right here. Like so. You move it upward. So, and then it's facing away from you. Your pointer goes on the top. Your middle does not go here. Because that is not where it goes. It goes right here. Then there's a little hole just right above my finger here. You put your right there, and then I want to be right to that key. For me, it falls naturally right there, but professionals say it's right here. So once you have your top, you're good to go. But once you get to the bottom, it's basically the same thing. So pointer. Middle, ring, pinky. So now your first nine, as you can tell, I don't have a read in. That's only because I'm explaining to you, I'm actually not playing. Because it's late at night. And I don't want to wake anyone up. So, with your hand, in this position and knit some amount. For G, your first note in your book is all keys open. So it's just everything that isn't colored in black. So now for, oh god. F, I 
probably you'll have to correct me. But for your next note is just your thumb. Just your thumb, not this. This is how about I can't remember what this is. But just your thumb and just keep. Then that's your second note. Well, if I had my book, then I would actually be able to tell you, but I don't, so. Once you have your next note, you can add your pointer, which is the next one I can't remember. I don't have my book go right now because it's downstairs and yeah and then the next one so it's all four keys down that is C so I believe it's G F So G, F, um, something, D, C. So then I'm not going to go into detail about the keys and notes. God. It's so hard controlling your fingers when you're looking at a mirror. Okay, so. Oh, pointer. So once your fingers are like this, you want to start counting your notes. So G, F, Um, okay. I messed up. Wait, no, I didn't. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to remember. Okay, so. G. Everything open. F is just your thumb. E is with your pointer, D is with your middle, and C with your ring. Then we'll get into like more like these keys more when I know more about them. Don't focus on these bottom ones. These are just to add sound. Just to have more frequency to the notes. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I'll even put my school email in the description. Just in case so if you guys need to email me about anything, you can go right ahead. And if you just saw this video, I recommend looking at other videos as well. But that'll be all. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you do enjoy these videos, please comment down below what other kind of videos we can do. We can be helping out in the community. It could even be like current events. It can be anything. Just anything that I know of. I'll try my best to keep you guys posted. So yeah, if you guys enjoy these videos, 
like and subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. And I'm only in grade 9. And I've been doing this ever since I've been in middle school. And I have not gotten any better. So. I recommend any of you guys giving me ideas. Because I've been busy with school. So. Please like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. It means that you guys really enjoy my content. See you all in the next video. Bye! Happy Thanksgiving, y'all!